Welcome Woods, wonderfully wise whiz kids. We are going to read Count on Pablo today by Barbara de Rupertis. It was market day. For the first time, Pablo was going to help his abuela, his grandmother, with her market stand. He could hardly wait. Is it time to go? Pablo called. Not yet, said Abuela. We can't go until we pick some things to sell. Let's pick fast, said Pablo. Okay, Pablo, Abuela laughed. <laughs> you can pick the limes. Pablo scurried up the lime tree. How many should I pick? About 20, said Abuela. Nice big ones. As Pablo twisted the limes off the tree, he counted them in a loud voice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good counting, Abuela called. Now, can we go, Pablo asked. With only limes to sell, said Abuela. She pointed to a bucket. First, we need to wash these onions and tie them in pairs like this. Abuela made a knot with the tops of the two onions. Pablo washed and tied the onions quickly. He got all wet, but he didn't mind. Could you count the onions? Abuela asked. I'll count them by twos. That's a fast way to count, said Pablo. Listen, Abuela. Abuela listened. Pablo counted. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight. 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. Good counting, said Abuela. Now can we go, asked Pablo. Not yet, said Abuela. I need you to wash these peppers. Put five in each plastic bag. Then tell me how many peppers you have. I'll hurry, Abuela, said Pablo. He washed the peppers very quickly and got even wetter. But that was okay with Pablo. I'll count the peppers by five, said Pablo. That's a faster way to count. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-five, ninety. 95, 100. Good counting, Abuela called. Now are we ready? Pablo asked. Then he saw that Abuela had five buckets of tomatoes. Oh no, cried Pablo. We'll never get to the market. It's our last job, said Abuela. We just have to wash the tomatoes and put them in, put 10 in each box. Before long, Pablo had the tomatoes clean and shiny. He was a muddy mess. I'll count the tomatoes by 10. That's a very fast way to count. Listen, Abuela, said Pablo. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 80, 190, 200. Good counting, said Abuela. I almost forgot the cilantro, Abuela said. She tucked a little bunch of the herbs in each box of tomatoes. Isn't that pretty, Pablo? Very pretty, said Pablo. But can we please go to the market now? Abuela shook her head. One more thing needs to be washed. Pablo knew she meant him.
I'll really hurry, he said. In no time, he was all cleaned up and they were on their way. Finally, said Pablo. The market was crowded and noisy. Everywhere Pablo looked, he saw people selling the most wonderful things. There was even a band playing music. There are so many stands here today, Abuela said. I'll make our stand look the best, said Pablo. Tell me again how many we have of everything, said Abuela. You count and I'll check. So after Pablo set up the stand, he counted by tens, by fives, by twos, and by ones. You're a good helper and a very good counter, said Abuela. Pablo and Abuela waited for shoppers to come. Many people were at the market, but nobody stopped at Abuela's stand. Nobody at all. Pablo began to worry. What if Abuela didn't sell anything? Hours went by. Still, they had not sold a thing. Pablo was getting hungry. May I buy a bag of tortilla chips from Senor Garcia? He asked. Yes, said Abuela. I'm a little hungry too. Pablo bought a big bag of chips. As he walked back munching, he thought, I wish I had some. Suddenly he had a great idea. Abuela, he shouted. What is it? asked Abuela. We can make salsa to go with these chips, said Pablo. Everything we need is right here. One lime, two onions, five peppers, and ten tomatoes. And a little bunch of cilantro, said Abuela. Making salsa is a wonderful idea, Abuela said. Go buy a pretty bowl from Senora Martinez. I'll borrow two knives and a spoon from Senora Garcia. The minute Pablo returned, he began to chop, chop, chop. Bits of tomatoes and peppers and onions flew everywhere. Slow down, Pablo, said Abuela. You are chopping too fast. Abuela squeezed the lime juice into the bowl. Then Pablo mixed the bright colors together. Let's taste it, said Pablo. Pablo scooped up some salsa with the tortilla chip and popped it into her. Abuela scooped up some salsa with the tortilla chip and popped it into her mouth. Delicious, she said. Pablo tasted the salsa too. It was delicious. Now we'll see what happens when other people taste our salsa, he said. Pablo stood right next to the beautiful bowl of salsa and the big bag of chips. Taste our delicious salsa, he called. Soon people were crowding around. They tasted the salsa. Delicious, they said. How do you make this salsa? Pablo told them. You need 10 tomatoes, five peppers, two onions, and one lime. And a little bunch of cilantro, said Abuela. Then that's what I want, said a man. I do too, said dozens of voices. It was very busy. Then it was very quiet. Abuela's stand was empty. Abuela, said Pablo, we sold everything. 20 limes, 40 onions, 100 peppers, 200 tomatoes and 20 little bunches of cilantro. I never had such a busy day, said Abuela. Now on market day, shoppers hurry, hurry to Abuela stand. There they buy everything they need to make Pablo's salsa. Delicious. The end.